Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x minus 2 to the power of 6. This is equal to 5 to the power of 6. So what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. We have x subtract 2 raised to the power of 6. This is equal to 5 to the power of 6. Let's take 5 to the power of 6 on the left hand side so that we have x subtract 2 to the power of 6 minus 5 to the power of 6. This is equal to 0. We can express x minus 2 to the power of 6 as x minus 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to zero this equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b this is equal to zero so we have a is equal to x minus 2 to the power of 3 and b is equal to 5 to the power of 3 so a plus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And that's a minus b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start with case 1, which is x minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation here is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a plus b a squared minus a times b plus b squared so this is x subtract 2 plus 5 multiplied by x minus 2 raised to the power of 2 then subtract 5 multiplied by x minus 2 then plus 5 squared which is 25 this is equal to 0 so we have minus 2 plus 5, so this is x plus 3. Then we have x minus 2 to the power of 2. This is x squared minus 4x. Then we have plus 4, subtract 5x. Then plus 10, plus 25. This is equal to 0. So we have x plus 3. Here we have x squared. Now in this case here, we have x plus 3. Here we have x squared minus 4x minus 5x. This is minus 9x. Then we have 4 plus 10. This is 14 plus 25. And this is equal to 39. This is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 3. This is equal to 0. The second part here is x squared minus 9x plus 39. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 3. The second part is a quadratic equation here with a equal to 1, b equal to minus 9, and c equal to 39. So for x2, comma x3, we apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus of minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything here over 2 times a. Applying this formula here, let's substitute a, b, and c so that we have minus minus 9 plus or minus. We have the square root of minus 9 squared minus 4 
times a which is 1 times c which is 39 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so that now here we have minus times minus 9 this is 9 plus or minus we have the square root of minus 9 squared which is 81 subtract this is 9 times 4 this is 36 carry 3 4 times 3 12 plus 3 this is 156 everything here divided by 2 so we have here 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 156 this is minus 75 over 2 so this is the same thing as 9 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 75 as 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. So we have here 9 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5. Square root of minus 1, this is i. Square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. So here we have two complex solutions we have two complex solutions that is x2 is equal to 9 plus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 we have x3 is equal to 9 minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2 so let's proceed to case 2 let's proceed to case 2 now in case 2 we have this is x minus 2 to the power of 3 then we have subtract 5 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 this equation is of the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which we can express as a minus b a squared plus a times b plus b squared Applying this identity, we have x minus 2 minus 5 multiplied by x minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus 5 times x minus 2 plus 5 squared, which is 25. This is equal to 0. Now, we have x minus 2 minus, minus 5. This is minus 7. Then we have x minus 2 to the power of this is to the power of 2. This means we have x squared minus 4x, then plus 4, then plus 5 times x. This is 5x. Then we have 5 times minus 2. This is minus 10 plus 25. This is equal to 0. So here we have x minus 7. Here we have x squared minus 4x plus 5x. So this is plus x. Then we have this is 4 minus 10. This is minus 6 plus 25. So this is plus 19. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. We have x minus 7. This is equal to 0. And we have x squared plus x plus 19 this is equal to 0 we have x4 is equal to 7 here we have a quadratic equation where a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 19 so we have x5 comma x6 this can be solved by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 you see everything here divided by 2 times a so this means that here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of this is 1 squared minus 4 times a1 then times c which is 19 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared, this is 1, 
minus 19 times 4, this is 76. Everything here divided by 2. This means we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 76. This is minus 75 over 2. And in this case, we can express the square root of minus 75. This is the same thing as square root of 25 multiplied by 3 times minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 25. This is 5. Square root of minus 1. This is i. Then square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So we have x5. This is the same thing as minus 1 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. And x6, this is minus 1 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. This, again, these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 2. And this totals to six solutions for this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.